Installing Cat6A into your home network will give your networking speeds a 10 gig boost. These are the two installations you'll need to learn before you install Cat6A into your home network. And guys, before we get started, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It's completely free. And if you're already subscribed, high five. Thanks. All right, these are the two Cat6A installations you'll need to learn, and both installations will only take minutes to do. The first installation is how to terminate Cat6A cables the easy way. And the second installation is how to install Cat6A wall jack plugs the easy way. And all tools and supplies are listed below in the video description with all the best prices. All right, guys, first installation, how to terminate Cat6A cables. All right, these are all the supplies and tools we're gonna need to terminate the Cat6A. First, you're gonna need some Cat6A. Probably not a thousand feet, but you could probably buy 500 feet or 250 feet of this. And this is Cat 6A UTP Unshielded Twisted Pair. So the tools you'll need for this job are a wire stripper, wire cutter. You'll need a crimping tool, so make sure this is the Cat 6A Cat 7 crimping tool because the Cat 5E will not work. Should say right here, and it does. Also, you'll need some connectors. These are the traditional Cat 6A premium connectors. And these are the pass-through connectors. We're gonna use these today because this is a pass-through crimper. I can't use these on this one because it'll actually just break, break the end of it. And since we're using UTP, which is unshielded twisted pair, there is no ground wire in here or any foil. So let me show you what this looks like. I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to use the stripper. You see the blade right there? Put it like right here. And you wanna turn it. And then I'll break it like that. And then after you break, you just pull it off. And let me show you how this looks. As you can see, we have the traditional four pairs, the green, blue, brown, and orange. This is the center core. And once we, we'll have to snip this off when we do the termination. One thing to note about this, this is the easiest of the Cat6A types to install. And with Cat6A, it's very thick and rigid and it's tough to bend. And Cat6A is definitely harder to terminate than Cat5E or Cat6 riser cable. Also, one more thing to note is that these wires, you have a green right here, but this white does not have the white green on it. So make sure once you untwist these, you kind of keep them segregated together. Otherwise, you're going to get them mixed up. So just keep that in mind when you're terminating these cables. So yeah, that's it. This is unshielded twisted pair. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is untwist all four pairs, and then we're gonna straighten them out. That way, we can easily get these wires into the T568B configuration. And the best way to do this is to use the old wire cover that we removed earlier. This technique makes untwisting the wires and flattening them really easy. It also saves your thumb and fingers from getting sore. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe, it's totally free. So once you unravel all four pairs and get them straight as possible and flat as possible, it's time to trim off that inner core. Remove all three plastic pieces as flush as possible. Now it's time to line up the wires in the T568B configuration. It goes white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Now trim off the wires as straight as possible. And I think these wires look pretty good. Now insert all eight wires carefully and slowly into the pass-through connector. Once the wires come out the other end, make sure to check the colors to make sure they're all correct. Because Cat6A cables are very thick, we need to kind of smash the end down a little bit to allow the blue cable cover to go inside the connector a little bit. So use this part of the crimping tool to help flatten that part out a little bit. And then we can slide the blue part of the cable inside the connector. Now it's crimping time. Insert the connector all the way into the crimper and then simply press down. We hear kind of a snap. And then pull it back out and check your work. Looks really good. And lastly, put that boot cover on. Looks really good. So if you plan on terminating shielded Cat6A, you have to use these connectors. This connector has that clamp or that ring that wraps around the cable and secures the ground wire to that clamp. And these connectors also have a load bar. You would simply insert the wires into the load bar and then insert the load bar into the connector. And these are the Cat6A premium connectors. 
they also have a load bar as well, but no grounding bracket. And let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a video on how to terminate shielded Cat 6A using that ground wire. If I get a large response in the comment section, then I'll make that video. Alrighty, the second installation is how to terminate Cat 6A wall jack plugs. So let's take a look at the Cat 6A wall jack. What you get is the Cat 6A wall jack, you get the cap that goes on top, and you get a zip tie, and that's it. And of course, this does come with the instructions as well as the wiring diagram. And we're gonna use the T568B configuration. So let's get started. Oh, and guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the algorithm. Thanks. So here are the supplies and tools you're gonna to need for this installation. And everything is listed in the description below. So first, you need to strip back about two inches of the protective sheath of the Cat 6A cable. Next, you wanna reveal all the wires, then cut off this plastic inner core. We have three. So there are two installation options, a tool-free option or a crimp tool option. We're gonna show you how to use the tool-free option. It's the easiest. For the tool-free option, we're gonna use this white wire cap. It's already color-coded for the correct wire configurations. And it has both A and B, and we're gonna use B. So after you slide the wires through the cap, simply match up the wire colors to the color codes on the cap. So at the bottom, it goes white, blue, blue, white, green, green. Remember, Cat 6A copper cable does not have the typical white, blue. It's just white, as you can see right here. At the top, it's white, orange, orange, white, brown, brown. Make sure the wires are seated all the way down and trim off any excess wires. After you trim off any excess wires, we'll connect the cap to the wall jack. It simply snaps on. You want to press the wire cap as far as it can go. And then you want to close the hinge door. Now this takes some strength. The hinge door has to snap all the way closed. Then once it's snapped closed, use the provided zip tie to secure the wire to the keystone jack. Then next, connect the wall jack to the wall plate. It simply snaps in. And now we can plug a Cat 6A cable into the wall jack. And you probably noticed that Cat 6A wall jacks have a hinge door on the front. But don't worry, just snap in the Cat 6A and you're all good. And now you have a 10 gig connection coming out of your wall jack. Pretty cool. All right guys, now that you learned these two Cat 6A installations, make sure to check out this video right here, Home Networking Build Guide 2024. And with that guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, smash the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.